The Hours of Jean de Vreux is an extraordinary example of a very popular type of late Gothic devotional text known as a Book of Hours. A Book of Hours was a devotional guide that aided the Christian reader in a schedule of prayers throughout the day. To accomplish this purpose, important prayers were often accompanied by images depicting sacred subjects. This elegant and original book of hours was illuminated by Jean Pousseau. Pousseau was one of the leading artists working in Paris between 1319 and 1334. Uniting structure and purpose, his images visualize a personal connection between the viewer and the sacred subject. Pousseau does not simply illustrate biblical subjects, such as the resurrection. In any case, the late Gothic Christian reader of this book would already have been familiar with this story. Pousseau's images cultivate and direct the viewer's spiritual devotion. As works of visual theology, these images urge the viewer towards a contemplation on what Christ's birth, death, and resurrection could mean to them. Designed to be used in private domestic contexts, books of hours were very popular with women who otherwise might have limited access to liturgy. This book of hours was commissioned for the Queen of France, Jean de Vreux. Among the most important sections of the Book of Hours were prayers known as the Hours of the Virgin. At eight times throughout the day, the reader would use this Book of Hours to meditate on the faithfulness of the Virgin Mary as the Mother of Christ. These prayers for the Hours of the Virgin were often accompanied by images depicting scenes of Christ's incarnation and infancy. These images, such as the presentation in the temple or the flight into Egypt, focus on the emotional and spiritual bond uniting Mary and her son. Notice, for example, how Christ looks towards his mother as they ride on a donkey. This visualization of the Virgin Mary as the devoted mother of Christ might have had special significance for a pious woman such as Jean de Vreux. However, the hours of Jean de Vreux is unusual in that Pousseau has juxtaposed scenes of Christ's infancy with scenes of his passion. By Christ's passion, we mean events described in the Gospels surrounding his death and resurrection. In Pousseau's Book of Hours, a scene of the Annunciation is paired with the arrest of Christ. The Nativity is paired with Christ being flogged. And the Resurrection was paired with a now missing page, probably depicting the coronation of the Virgin. This visual juxtaposition of scenes from Christ's infancy with scenes from his Passion has at least two important consequences for how the viewer might interpret these images. First, the structure of Pousseau's book encourages the viewer to think about subjects such as the Annunciation or the Nativity within a larger narrative of Christ's sacrificial mission. Second, this emphasis on Christ's suffering, death, and resurrection also reorients the primary relationship visualized in these scenes. Viewed on their own, scenes of Christ's infancy, such as the Nativity or the Presentation in the Temple, might seem to be focused on the relationship between Christ and Mary. In both of these scenes, the infant looks at his mother. However, the Passion scenes such as the Resurrection, emphasized the relationship between Christ and the viewer. The very composition of Pousseau's image 
visualizes this personal connection. The resurrected Christ looks directly at the viewer. This blessing Savior welcomes the presumed Christian viewer to join him. Jean de Vreux, for whom Poussel designed this book of ours, might have been inspired by this depiction of Christ's triumph over death, as well as the lost image of the coronation of Mary, to contemplate the crown of glory that awaited her if she used this devotional guide to remain faithful in her daily prayers.